Western Australia, Margaret River Pro Stop, five of the season, already getting started with Baron Mamiya, Miguel Pupo, Reef Hazelwood, and on deck, a big heat for Kelly, taking on Yago Dora and Cole Hausman. Here he goes now, Mamiya from the North Shore of Oahu, kicking things off with a rapid cutback. Another wrap on the shoulder. And Mamiya steps off. Still traveling with one of his best friends, Makana Peng. And Baron, let's have a look at what happened on the first wave of today. A nice carving turn, wrapping it right back into the pocket for Baron. And you can tell instantly, Joe, when a surfer gets to their feet. Made everyone believe that day that maybe they could fly. Baron Mamiya laying into that first section on the lip. Just one turn and he's down. Mamiya's opener a 3.5. That'll be his second scoring wave. A super talent coming from the North Shore. Also Baron on his last. Baron, that big layback hack to start things off and then the wave lays down. As we watch Hazelwood commit to his first wave of the morning. The Australian goofy foot lights up that first section also on the Channel Islands equipment. Oh. Clean re-entry off the lip line. Hazelwood knifing it and will shut that one down with another wow. inside hack wow. right above the bricks. Great series of backside turns for Reef getting on the board. Pressure for Miguel and Barron. Let's see what happened. So Reef comes around this section. Perfect positioning off the takeoff. That sets him up for that really vertical attack on the backhand. Two of the best backhand snaps we've seen in a while. And a third, really critical comes through to the inside gets a fourth bash so uh wow that was a, a really well surfed wave so clean beautiful technique on the backhand just was really patient on that first one great body extension leans onto that heel side rail nice and vertical on that second hit really tight radius snap off the off the top there Comes around the section, you can see he's maintaining his speed as he comes off the bottom and off the top. And that one was really uh, sort of balanced on the lip as he uh, pivoted, comes back down, then he comes around for a fourth turn after this. So uh, patiently waited for this first wave and really has capitalized on, uh, on this beautiful canvas. Three reef locks in an eight point ride on his opener. And now the Brazilian fat getting started. Miguel Pupo, nice clean backside carve. Hits the lip this time on the second effort. Nice pace as this wave was just waiting for him. Through a few turns, definitely Reefs had a, a lot more energy. Pressure moment for him. Let's see what happened on his first wave. Draws off the bottom, you can see comparison to Reefs wave. Not as steep, not as critical, but the second turn was nice and clean. Bit of foam on the face here. Really uh, not no trouble there. For More waves on the way here. Solid set here for the man from the North Shore of Oahu. Bear Mamiya still laying down a couple of hooks into the pocket as this open face day is really full. Now the lip starting to crumble. So he projects off that with a snap and section. Wave quality. Let's have a look at the replay here. Bear Mamiya draws hard off the bottom. Carves a nice turn in these difficult offshore conditions that can sort of blow you off the back of the wave sometimes. Hits the brakes here, setting up for this section. Another clean snap off the top. But Joe, there was never really that big igniting moment on that wave. Great slow-mo action here. Now Baron, he's a really front-footed surfer. Front foot dominant means he really drives off a, a, of a leaning forward position. And that back, uh, that back leg sort of steers the board around. Hazelwood on his second scoring ride. Now off the bottom, end section, he places that board. Other surfers have a more balanced position. Let's have a look what happened with Reef's wave here. Sleepy cut back from the takeoff. Now he's waiting for it to really bowl up. Now he gets a better turn. More speed and flow on the second. Comes all the way through to the inside. And gets a great finish, so... Uh... Or he'll be sent to the Challenger Series, as we saw his brother do that last year and come back successfully. Reef Hazelwood, big two-turn combination, hugging the pocket with these backside blows. A lot of spray off the rail of that CI. 
And like you were saying, Richie Lovett, this guy's have a, having a mature approach this morning in the elimination round. Rush this wave a little bit, Joe. Need to wait for these sections, pick your moments. So Reef came really hard off the bottom there to get that second turn and was lucky to get that third little uh, spray off the back. Three-turn combination, always love these slow-mos. You can see using that inside arm sort of as a pivot point as he comes off the bottom. Keeps that board directing down the line, doesn't overextend too much because he knew he had to get up and into this section here. Up and over, and it's sort of a different turn to when you're carving off the top. You're coming from behind it, and you actually hit the lip, and you sort of come out with the lip rather than carving on the face of the wave. So do two different variations of a turn there. As we now watch Miguel Pupo throwing down the arc to start. Wide open face, squares up vertically. Oh. Great timing for Pupo. Transitions out of that. So smoothly and oh, looks no. to finish and just overextends an awkward fall as he was running out of water by the bricks. Oh, wow. Um, big moment here for Miguel Pupo. Geez, he did some great work on that wave. But he built through this one. So the first turn, more of a setup carve. And then he really squares up off the bottom, gets that tail release nice and high in the pocket. And again, really accelerates through that third turn and then just comes into the end section. Would have loved for him to have finished that one and really bookend this wave. But have a look at how high he gets in this uh, backside snap. The fins would have completely been free out the back of that wave. Nice deep bottom turn. And this one carves through and accelerates. See how he's extending that back foot, that back leg. Great extension on that. That helped him uh, maintain all that power through that turn. And then just got stuck on his toes on that last one, unfortunately. To move on, Pupo up again. Last in line for priority, taking this wave. Quick redirect in the pocket, squaring up a bit harder and hammers it. His second turns have been massive the last two days. Snaps it hard off the lip line and attacking the end section. Into a new level of speed. Let's see what happened with Miguel's wave. Great looking peak as he takes off just gets this first turn more of an adjustment turn the second one geez it's accelerating so quick off the top and then that third hit you can see just looking with a little bit more energy a bit more intent on this wave has to eject because of the bricks Bear Mamiya throwing down a couple of wrapping cutbacks on the open face doesn't have size in his favor here and then Bear Mamiya outside great looking peak Huge carve off the top to start things off. And a second, big wrapping cutback. And a third, but Joe, whenever you're sort of cutting back into the white one, he'll get out of there. Now the wild oh. card, Hazelwood, goes upside down to the pocket. Set up work on the open face, passing Pupo, lighting up the get out finishing of there. section there, oh. and that's CI. I think might have had a little soft pillow to ride oh. over the bricks, hopefully. He'll check it. Uh, and not attacking sections that are in front of you. It's always uh, hard for the judges to really go high on the score. Reef Hazelwood squares up again. And that uh, was such a steep section. Reef just really committing to it. All the way through to the inside, gets that final hit. And does his best to uh, navigate through that tricky section before the rock exposes itself. But look how, look at the angle on that board. As he comes off the bottom, he gets it to 12 o'clock, which is really vertical. And then that tight pivot radius off the top. Comes down with the whitewash. Perfect control. Gets straight on the heel side rail again. But his bottom turns are so deep. And uh, this is the best I've seen Reef Surf uh, in, a, in a championship tour heat. He is really, really feeling it out here, taking it to the more established uh, pros in this one. Baron and Miguel, Ooh. still work to do. And a big loss to the top 10 with Baron Mamiya falling out with a 33rd in the elimination round. But the backhand of Miguel Pupo providing some brilliant moments under pressure of the midseason cut as he moves into the round of 32. And 
maybe the best performance in a CT jersey from Reeve Hazelwood so far in his career. Yeah, really mature, composed performance there. Wave choice was on point. His performance on the wave, absolutely amazing.